What's going on everybody? It's Robinson. I'm actually headed out right now to uh, go train with a, a physique client of mine. So I finally have some time to the, do the Q&A that I advertised on my Instagram. I think it's got to be well over a week ago at this point. Sorry for the delay. Um, as you know, I am a very busy individual. So let's see if I can go over the questions. One of the first questions I got was, what do I think about SARMs? If you haven't heard about SARMs, I, I believe it stands for Selective Androgen Receptor Modifiers. Um, they're basically the replacement or the new version to me of what pro hormones probably were. Uh, I never used pro hormones. There are a lot of people who did and suffered a lot of liver damage and health issues after using them. So I guess SARMs is the, was, is the replacement for that. Um, they were hot for a while. As far as I'm aware of, they're either being pulled from the shelf or there's probably going to be some federal investigation for those who have sold them. So they may not even be on the market anymore. I really don't know. Here's my opinion. Um, I'm not a big PED user. I don't use, uh, endorse PEDs, uh, especially for people who are recreational lifters. I don't understand what the purpose or the obsession is of getting you know ridiculously huge. I don't even know if SARMs can give you that capability. Um, it's a matter of personal choice. Me, no, I would never use them. I think there's a potential of side effects that we don't know what these things are going to do yet. Uh, I think a lot of people that are asking this are way too young and inexperienced in the gym where they really need to learn more about training, um, learn more about training programming. Do that first and pay your dues, guys. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of guys like uh, Mark Lobliner and others who have been in the industry for a long time who see people who rush the steroids and that you should pay your dues first. Uh, I think even Jerry Ward may have said that. I, I just don't see the value in it. Um, just train really hard, and if you get your nutrition and your training in line, you get great results over time anyway that you'll actually keep instead of a quick fix. That's my personal opinion, so no disarms. Um, but do whatever the hell you want to do. That's your life. Uh, the next question, I believe, was from an idiot named Matt Bonino. <laughs> That's actually one of my training partners, not the one I'm meeting up with today. Uh, he asked, who is that sexy man that you're always training with? If you but if you mean the man that you always see in the mirror, that would be my reflection. Sorry, Matt, you're still ugly. Moving on. One of my clients actually asked a bunch of questions. Um, her first question was, how do you fix knee cave? Well, knee cave really has to do, from my understanding of it, is a lot to do with, one, sometimes it's a lack of, of focus. Two, you might have some weak abductors. So I would look at doing some abductor work, uh, using a hip circle, doing body weight squats, where you can really just focus on forcing the knees out. Um, but it depends on the severity of the knee cave, too. Some people obsess over this. And uh, with knee cave, sometimes there is a little bit that you're always going to have. It's just that we don't want your knee cave caving way in to the point where you're like, you know, they're almost touching. I've seen that before. It's, it's a bad thing. Um, some other instances in knee cave I usually see stem from fatigue. Um, people are so focused on just trying to move the weight for however many reps uh, that they, you know, they get tired and then they start to lose their focus on keeping their knees out or trying to keep their knees from caving in. So I would say just just focus on keeping your knees stable as much as possible um, work on your abductors if need be and uh, that's really about it then she was uh, the next question was about keeping your knees from crossing your toes that also depends on the severity it might it might dep be depending uh, depending on how you're built da -da 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 -da. make fun of myself I'm just being like porky pig over here if you don't get the reference I'm a 1980s kid um, but it de depends on how far your knees are actually drifting forward. Usually you try to keep your hips back to a certain extent, but it also might be some part you know, of how you're built. Like I know a lot of people criticize my squat form or how I lean, but the way I'm built is I have very long femurs and I have a short torso. I have long legs, short torso. Most of my height comes from my legs. Um, so that stems in me almost leaning forward, but if you look at the bar path, the bar path is relatively straight. So uh, also, I believe a long time ago, I think Johnny Candido did a very good video on this. I'm going to see if I can find it and put it in the description. If I don't, um, go to Johnny Candido. I'm pretty sure somewhere there he talks about the difference of leverages in the knees, uh, how they can move forward or backward depending on how you're, you're built as well. Um, then the last question was, if you can't hit your max uh, target reps for the weight that you're using, is it better off sometimes, I mean, let's say you were scheduled to do doubles of it, May is it better to do all of them but in singles? Um, my theory is if you're having trouble hitting the reps, you know, maybe you could work on backing down maybe the progressions a little too quick 
or also if you want to get the volume in anyway and you're just struggling to hit doubles, I don't see any harm, let's say you're scheduled for three doubles, I don't see any harm in doing six singles. I mean, you're still working with the same working weight, that way, okay, <laughs> I didn't see that coming and that actually scared me, whew, I'm getting old, um, but nonetheless, uh, I, I don't see any harm in doing, let's say, six singles with the same working weight to make sure that you're, you're getting the progression in that you want. All right, guys, thank you for the Q&A once again. Sorry for a little bit of delay there. Hope it was informative. I'll talk to you guys later.